All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing the situation surrounding San Diego State. We've had a few false starts with them trying to leave the Mountain West earlier this year. It was rumored they were possibly going to either the Pac-12 or the Big 12. Of course, the Pac-12 doesn't exist anymore. You can see college football expansion, major tension, as Mountain West claimed San Diego State left league and owe $17 million. Now, that was eventually nullified. They do not owe $17 million because at this point, San Diego State has a lot of leverage over the Mountain West. They don't want to lose them. And right now, San Diego State is back into the Mountain West, but I'm sure it's a little bit awkward based on everything. We're hearing rumors. What are the main options right now when it comes to San Diego State football? This all goes back to a few years ago when it became known that San Diego State was getting a new stadium to replace the decrepit Qualcomm Stadium. And they've got a very nice, it's called Snapdragon Stadium. And they are also in a partnership right now with MLS. San Diego has a MLS expansion team that will also be playing there. But there are some nice renderings of that. This makes them a lot more attractive. You do have the San Diego TV market. Your basketball team just had a nice little Cinderella run all the way to the final, and they ended up losing, but still, they had a really good run. So San Diego State, I would say they're a very solid program. You've got, in my opinion, two main options at this point. Now, the other weird thing about this, it also came out that San Diego State was trying kind of behind the Mountain West's back to form some type of Group of Five Super Conference that would include all of the best American teams, all of the best Mountain West teams, and the remaining Pac-4. San Diego State has since denied those rumors, but it is something interesting to think about. You would have to wonder, you know, those rumors might be true, considering San Diego State's already tried to leave the league, the, the Mountain West, and it got really bad. They left, but there was nowhere for them to go, so they rejoined and almost faced that $17 million fee. But right now, I'll say for San Diego State, it's either staying in the Mountain West and hoping you get Washington State and Oregon State. Right now, I'm sure the Mountain West hopes they get all four you know, of the Pac-4 schools, that's not going to happen. It's just unrealistic. You're not getting Stanford and Cal, but you could possibly get Washington State and Oregon State. So option number one is just remain in the Mountain West and hope that you get Washington State and Oregon State. That's going to make your league more attractive. Those are two Power 5 programs. Let's be honest, though, it's not a jackpot or anything like that. So I would say the dream scenario right now would be San Diego State joining the Big 12 I, you know, there's been rumors possibly they could happen. Right now, the Big 12 not really focused on expansion, although we've heard that before. And they're kind of talking like this year, we're not doing anything. Maybe next year, could San Diego State and possibly a team like SMU? I know SMU, they've been talking to the ACC as well, but right now, they're very desperate to get in a Power 5 league. And it seems like San Diego State is as well. Would that be a pairing that would end up going to the Big 12. I could personally see that, and, and I think that's best case scenario. Obviously, if you're trying to get in one of the Big Fours, it's one option for San Diego State at this point. It's the Big 12. You're not getting in the ACC. It just doesn't... Well, I mean, could you imagine they, they try and build a, a West Wing for the ACC to replace it? They get Stanford, Cal, and then possibly like... San Diego State as well. <laughs> Imagine that happened. I'm speaking it into existence, but no, that's it, it's already come out that Stanford and Cal to the ACC has been voted down. Now, maybe they have more meetings and, and they're able to convince enough teams. I don't think so. I think the ACC is in a tough spot right now, although I could see the ACC, based on how strict their grant of rights is, they could lose two teams and then do something similar to the Big 12. You lose Clemson and FSU, just like the Big 12 lost Texas. Texas and Oklahoma, their two best teams, but then they're able to replace it, you know, with some nice group of five teams. Would Stanford and Cal be involved in that? Would San Diego State be involved in that to mitigate travel? I have heard nothing on San Diego State to the ACC. This is all just pure speculation. I'm kind of going conference by conference. Obviously, San Diego State's not going to the Big Ten. Obviously, San Diego State is not going to the SEC, so that leaves the ACC and the Big 12 
with the Big 12 being by far the most realistic option right now for San Diego State. Also, that idea of the Group of Five Super Conference, I'm for sure... Uh, you know, think that San Diego State, whether they started that rumor or trying to do that or not, they would absolutely be involved in the Group of Five Super Conference if you took the best teams from the American, from the Mountain West, and the Pac-4 and combined them all together and said, look, we still want that Power Five designation because we have four former Power Five teams here. I'm sure that was the plan if they actually thought about doing it. But overall, just taking a look at this San Diego State football team, their past history, you know, 2021, they went 12 and 2. 2020, they were 4 and 4. They also won 10 games in 2019. They were just 7 and 6 last year. But you can see 2017, 2016, 2015. This is a very solid program. And it does add even more depth to the Big 12, not only in football, but also you're bringing a very good basketball program. They're not always going to make the Final Four or anything like that. They don't recruit well enough, but they are a team that always seems to do well in the Mountain West. A few years ago, they were undefeated pretty late into the season. So, And then this year, surprisingly enough, They're expected to finish fourth in the Mountain West or right around there. Uh, Just looking at this is ESPN FPI. I don't think this is correct. Uh, From what I have seen as a college football expert, Air Force is actually the best team in the Mountain West by far, and they're probably going to be a preseason top 25 team, just FYI. But San Diego State's right there, Fresno State, and then they have Boise State. Another thing people wonder, you know, this was talked about a lot last year, Boise State surprisingly not being popular in terms of expansion, like the Big 12, not even talking to Boise State. It has to do with TV markets. It has to do with popularity, ratings, things like that. Boise State is just really small. But, I mean, Boise State, if they somehow were able to join a Power 4 conference, they play such a, you know, just such a unique brand of football with the field field color. You know, they beat Oklahoma in that bowl game a while ago, the Fiesta Bowl. And they they always seem to do well, although the last few years it's kind of been down for a little bit there. They had the best winning percentage in college football history, but because they've lost a few games and because they've had such a little, you know, history, their winning percentage goes down really quickly. And now I think they're fourth or fifth. But when you look at San Diego State, I do think there's two main options unless something crazy happens with the ACC where they lose Clemson and FSU. The two main options are... You either stay in the Mountain West and things just might stay put, or you might add teams. The two teams would be Washington State and Oregon State, and that would make your conference slightly better. Or you're able to possibly next year, because we know the thing with San Diego State, their relationship with the Mountain West. I saw Mountain West, they came out with a statement saying they were united a few days ago, but their relationship with the Mountain West cannot be good because it is publicly known that they did try and leave the conference, and now they're possibly going behind the back of the Mountain West trying to create a group of five Super League. So it cannot be a good relationship, and I would imagine the first chance they get if the Big 12 says the door is open, come on in, I would imagine that they would take that. They've got a good TV market. They have a solid established football team that's been good for a little while now, and they've got a brand new stadium that's state-of-the-art that was just recently built and a good enough fan base to be attractive. So the question really comes down to the Big 12. What do they want to do? Could they potentially wait for the ACC to implode? I don't think that's going to happen, but they might. I think the most realistic thing for the Big 12 right now, if the ACC stays together for the most part, is to look at a team like San Diego State and look at a team like UConn, along with maybe SMU, but they might have to get into some type of bidding war with the ACC for SMU because I do think the ACC is going to need teams because it seems very obvious on the surface, that Clemson and FSU are leaving that league. Now, when you dive into it, it gets very complicated because we don't know the exact details on the grant of rights deal. But on the surface, it seems like there's going to be some deal worked out with ESPN because ESPN owns the rights to all the major ACC games, all the major SEC games. ESPN can say, listen, we'll alleviate some of your buyout to FSU and Clemson, but you have to go to the SEC because we want more capital and more games and more content and that's where you start getting into Clemson at Alabama you know FSU at Georgia the dream matchups and they're on ESPN and then ESPN can say 
we have more teams in this conference. So minimum, we have to go to a nine-game conference schedule in the SEC. That's going to make us even more money. Uh, even if we do lose. I think that's ESPN's dream scenario, honestly. Alleviating the buyout slightly for FSU and Clemson. The ACC stays afloat. You replace Clemson and FSU with, you know, San Diego. Well, it wouldn't be San Diego State, but honestly, I think the dream scenario would be Cal and Stanford. I don't think they'll get Cal and Stanford, but it would probably be SMU and Memphis, something like that to the ACC if they do lose Clemson and FSU. But now I'm going way off the rails on the topic. So so back to the San Diego State situation. It is one of two options. They are one of the more wanted teams right now. But the other question is, have they overplayed their hand by leaving, coming back? They're trying to do all these different things behind the scenes. They've made it clear that they want to leave. And the Big 12, if the ACC stays together, they're going to be running out of teams to expand. And I'm sure the Big 12 doesn't want to just sit there at 16 teams if the Big 10 gets to 20, if the SEC gets to 20 as well, or at least 18. They will minimum expand by two teams. But there's also the idea that the Big 12 could say, we just think Washington State and Oregon State are better fits and they're going to bring us more money than San Diego State. That can always happen because you look at Washington State and Oregon State, They're two Power 5 teams. You know, they've both had big-time stadium renovations recently. You know, Oregon State is a team that has really looks impressive. They're a top 15 team in the preseason polls. So we will see what happens there. I think the most likely scenario, unfortunately, right now for San Diego State is probably remaining in the Mountain West. I'd say it's like a 50-50 chance they join the Big 12 or remain in the Mountain West. I really don't see, you know, could we see a crazy merger with like the best teams from the American and the best teams from the Mountain West? It just doesn't make any sense to me because it would be too hard to coordinate and the money would not be worth it. Even if you took the best teams from both of those conferences, the American conference is already picked over. It's watered down. The, you know, the Big 12 took all the best teams from it and they replaced it with six teams that are really not very good. So that is the situation. I think they're probably remaining in the Mountain West, but there's a chance that they join the Big 12. It just comes down to what the Big 12 wants in the coming year. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.